Hey, so I'm finally updating the tier list. It has been a long while. Um, yeah, so I have wanted to shift when I do the tier list, number one, because the start of the year just isn't a good time for me. Um, it's when Mist does its tier list and the meta, the meta has like kind of solidified. But by the time I finish the tier list, it's um, it's almost anniversary and it's pretty much outdated. So I'd rather start doing it after anniversary. So I just get to talk about these servants nice and fresh. I'm not redoing this tier list. We're not gonna. I'm not gonna do it until summer next year, possibly like August, maybe September, when my workload is definitely at its lowest. Not in January where it's closer to being at its highest. So let us start off with servants. I know definitely uh, got influenced by this meta shift. First one, Spartacus. The reason for Spartacus going up is he is now able to do double bitch Oberon. And I'm not joking about that. Much like BB, he had a seven turn 30% battery. This gets knocked down to a six turn. He is now able to do double bitch Oberon. Is the damage going to be amazing? Probably not. It's probably not going to be that good. But can you at least do it? Yes, you can. He has a buffed MP2. You're going to need that, but he's a welfare, so it's not going to take you long. It, or it might take you a while to get these, but not that long. But yeah, him being a one star, able to do buster farming. Uh, I have Jason at EX, but that's because it does it like he does not need investment for him to be able to loot. That's why Jason's at EX. He doesn't need. You don't have to level his skills. You just have to level him. And that's it. His skills don't help with his loop. So because of that, Spartacus, he's going to A. Next up, someone I know just got buffed. Billy. He got buffed during ninth anniversary. Uh, his crit skill looks really, really good right now. Good. And again, I usually stream this, but for this update, I kind of just wanted to do it off stream. Um, his crit, crit skill looks really good. It not not looks really good. It is really good. Uh, the only issue I have with Billy is I do not want to put him on the same tier as Uriel. He's also a three star with three star stats yet uriel in her specific niche fighting males is able to do stuff like three turn the super recollection uh i don't know if billy is actually able to do that or not i truly don't know if he is i'd love to see a video but can't do super recollections on jp and she is just consistently good when it comes up. Billy, he wants to be a crit servant, but at the end of the day, he is still a three-star. His crits are not going to bite as hard as they should. As a three-star, though, his kit's really fluid. Yeah, no, no, he can go to, he can go to A. Yeah, he's, he's fine with being an A with Uriel. Like, they do different things. And then, like, I don't, I don't want to say Billy is on the same tier as William Tell. Because William Tell is, like, they have similar kits. He focuses on crit, and she just decimates male enemies. Um... Yeah, I, I'm I'm more fine with this. Uh, next up, Columbus. Actually, I believe Columbus gets to go up too.
For the same reason as Spartacus, he gets to go up a, uh, at least a tier. O honestly, his kit works better for Buster farming than Spartacus. Like, I'm going to be real. Uh, he is just held back by the fact that he is a... Um, he's held back by the fact that he's story locked. Yep. Let's BB farming numbers. Where do I have Columbus? Yeah, you can go to A. You go to A with Spartacus. You both can Buster farm, and you have a better kit for it. Um, Asclepius, he is not changing. He got his third skill buffed. He didn't need it buffed. And now he's sitting here nice and pretty and not changing. Um... A Visa Braun, I don't think. I think he has an eight turn cooldown battery, not seven. So he's kind of excluded. Yeah, no, his is eight. Yeah. That is unfortunate. Yeah. So, no to a Visa Braun. Um. Hmm. Oh, right. Okay. We have Charlotte. Charlotte got her third skill buffed, and now you can choose what buff you actually want. Uh, and I do see her value as, like, a potential insta-kill farmer if you have uh, the setup for it. She is honestly able to do good stuff for it. Uh, and her having the arts card, being able to choose it, along with it being a star bomb, uh, she is, she should be able to get her MP fairly easily. Um, she unfortunately does not have a battery, and that is what's going to screw her over. She, she's going to either need to start with one, you're going to have to brute force charge to her, or she just has to kind of arts crit her way there. Just giving her the option to do that does up her value. I just... Mm, I, don't, I don't know if I can put her on the same tier as the Regan himself. Um... And honestly, insta kill farming is pretty niche. Uh, yeah, like I was never going to move her up to EX ever. That that wasn't happening with one buff for her specifically. Um, I think I am going to keep her at C for right now. But maybe one more buff, she has the potential for going up. If she gets even a small battery, I would move her up to B. Yeah, like if she, if honestly, she just got something small. Uh, next, the horse, Lubu. His third skill got buffed, and now he has a skill that lasts consistently for three turns. Um, he definitely needed this. Uh, so yeah, you can move up. You can go up to C. Uh. Blackbeard, I don't think, has a battery. Throw he. No, it doesn't go immediately go to Blackbeard. Or throw a hoggy.
Oh, okay. Damn it. Kurohige. Okay. I'm re I'm really bad about that sometimes. All right. Uh, Blackbeard. Nope, no battery, so I can't move them up for farming reasons. Uh, ch ch yep. Oh. Hmm. So, the last one off the top of my head is going to be Shield Array. Now, I have historically and currently say this is a bad character. His buffs, her skills are really good. Just not on him. And I think I might have downplayed this skill a little. But I still stand by the fact that this is a good skill, just not for him but the thing is because this is on the first skill and these two do not matter his utility as an esports unit for lawful good allies that really want overcharge uh bima tonaleko being like big 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 examples he on it like if you have him level 1 out of 30 and this skill maxed out it is a it honestly is a very good um supportive skill and honestly the 20 stars is probably the weakest part of this skill like you care way more if your ally is lawful good than you do if their star attribute I feel in my review, I tried to, like, hammer home the DPS needs to be all three. They don't. It's just if you have all three, it makes your life easier. But you only need one person with star attribute, and it doesn't have to be your DPS. Cast story is probably one of the most common star attribute servants that ever get selected, ever. So if you don't have cast story yourself, friends list, uh, he is definitely a setup servant now. I refuse to rank him. I, yeah, no, I honestly refuse to rank him as a serious servant. If I, if this didn't, if this didn't exist, he would be here still. But he has a very useful niching niche overcharged lawful good allies or technically overcharged good allies is lawful lawful good gets like the dome and treatment yeah i'm fine with putting him here i have a lot of servants here but it's the reason is like you can't bring them out that often but what they do do they do so well that like really can't be replicated by uh, like even ssrs most of them can't replicate this um yeah like batahari technically could have been here but because her skill buff like gives like a good amount of party utility like she avoids here um but uh, yeah, this is the updated uh, low star tier list. Uh, if you disagree with the placements, feel free to message in the comments down below because I have no problem moving servants up or down. I just do not have the energy to re-rank every single one of these servants. So unfortunately, this is just how it, we're going to adjust for the next year just based off this. Um, will I eventually... When I eventually re-rank them, uh, the bar will be set higher, so more servants might go down in here next year. But for now, I'm fine with this. Uh, if you're brand to the game, 
and you just start friend point summoning. These are servants you should be looking out for uh, on the upper end. And as you go down, uh, you'll find eventually where they, uh, where you can use each one of them. Although by that point, you probably already have an S SR or SSR that can fill that role. All right. This is getting saved. Um. Can you stop, please? Or. All right. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.